Mike Styles, and I'm back with another episode of the Mike Styles Experience. Make sure that you download and share this from your favorite platform that you use to get your podcasts on. I appreciate it, and uh, thanks for doing that for me, and thanks for checking me out. Man, um, yeah, this, this is crazy, man. I, you know, I just had a chance to... Um, watched the video of a of a deadly uh event that unfolded at a youth football game down in texas where a youth football coach was shot and killed during the game or scrimmage um he was killed after a dispute over the score of the game and um before the shooting happened there were arguments between the opposing coaching staff over how uh, the referees were calling the game. And, um, you know, it, it got physical. Somebody pulled a gun and now somebody's dead. Um, we, we've we seen and, and, and heard about these situations where, you know, you get these parents out here fighting at these youth sporting events and, um, you know, it's, it's just crazy to me that a bunch of grown ass people don't know how to interact with each other and they don't know how to solve conflict, especially when there are children involved and when children are present. Um, you know, what, what kind of message does that send to these kids who just watch somebody get murdered? right before their eyes you know there's no doubt that these kids you know there's no doubt that these kids have been traumatized by the whole situation you know and this incident and and other incidents like it you know they've ruined the game for many of these kids and some of these kids I think they'll probably never want to play football again And um, I wouldn't blame them one bit, but I'm just so sick and tired of this fake macho tough guy bullshit that's just running wild in our communities. The victim, Michael Hickman, he had a down marker in his hands. Um, and from what I was looking at, you know, in that video, it looks like he was trying to protect himself from an angry mob that was trying to beat him up. And um, he dropped the marker and and that's when a gun was pulled and uh, he was shot and killed. You know, you can hear the shots on the video. Um, you know, the video is out there. And um, I don't know, man, it's just. We got a lot of punks out here, a lot of cowards. Because. That was some punk shit, you know, um, you know, to pull a, a gun out and shoot and kill him over a, a kid's football game. Because you didn't agree with what was happening and because things weren't going your way or the way you wanted them to go. You decided to pull a gun and murder somebody. Again, we have to learn how to interact with each other. And we have to learn to just walk away. And we have to learn that there's nothing wrong with walking away. It doesn't make you look weak, you know. But it's the battle of egos that will get us into a lot of trouble. And so the guy who allegedly did the shooting, he turned himself in. And um, according to his lawyer... He wants to explain his side of the story. But you see now it's a little too late because it's on video. You know, if that's him, it's on video. You know, um, you want to have remorse and regret after the fact. And um, that doesn't bring anybody back. You still did what you did. You took a life. And, um, you know, there's an old movie 
called South Central, where the uh, the main character of the story, um, he's an ex gang member, and um, he he had spent some time in prison, and he got out of prison, um, and um, he tries to save his son from the same things that he went through, and there was this one scene um, where he was trying to save his son from his old gang leader. Um, he was about to you know kill somebody. And um, he tells his son about, you know, if you take or you break somebody's property, you can replace it or, um, you know, you can pay that man for that property, you know, as compensation, you know, for the damages. Um, But if you kill that man, you can't replace his life. You can't bring him back. You know what I mean? And that was just something that, you know, that that scene in that movie, you know, even, you know, watching it when I was younger, uh, something that always kind of stood out to me, um, you know, but hopefully to all those involved, all those parents, um, hopefully they're able to explain to their children who witnessed this. Um, hopefully they can show them that this isn't the way you resolve conflict. You understand? We got to get out of this mentality of thinking that, um, a gun is a solution to everything all the time. Hell, I mean, even a fist fight isn't the solution. But at least with a fist fight, you know, things could have been somewhat more equal. You understand what I'm saying? At least nobody would have to, you know, lose their life. But in this situation, I mean, from the looks of that video, I mean, a fist fight probably wouldn't have done any good because it was like what maybe i don't know maybe five or ten on one it was an angry mob on this one guy and 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 from the looks of it to me it looks like he was trying to defend himself from this angry mob until somebody pulled out a gun and shot him but um you know we we definitely have to do better you know this shit is just sickening It's, it's disgusting and um you know it needs to stop no more this this fake tough guy shit so that's been been on my mind you know um you know after kind of you know looking at the uh the video you know it's, it's it's disturbing um like i said man kids were there you know um just something like this just happening at a, at a youth uh football game where you know the the kids they're supposed to be out there learning the game playing the game learning about sportsmanship good conduct and all that good shit and you know they're supposed to be having fun doing it but it's, it's, it's senseless so i don't want to hold y'all up man I'm, I'm signing off but um learn how to handle your disputes without um you know resorting to picking up a gun you know because your life and your freedom uh may depend on it you know now this guy who turned himself in you know he's going to have a whole mountain of legal issues and from what i'm hearing you know he's already been in some trouble before so but um make sure that you take care of yourself take care of each other Peace, y'all.